Okay, and then when I like to remove these plastic covers, there is that kind of small these plastic pins and for this opening I need now this very thin flat head screwdriver put this in my hand and look especially that head area it must be so small that I can insert that my tool in here and then when I move that idea is to pull out this central part and this knife is also useful and then idea is that I try to pull out this central part in that way and now I managed to do that look and then when this system is free we can see that it looks like just that and then I take also this closer view that we can think that how it works okay and now we have better close view of these plastic covers these uh, joint fasteners and I need this flathead screwdriver an idea is to insert in here and then bend out in that way this side look this is the first tick and then in here and in here and we can also use some knife and I carefully the central part up and then when it is so full up like half inch and centimeter then I can take my fingers and I can pull out the system and in that way we can open these plastic fasteners uh, so that we don't destroy these and how about then if we damage these uh, things there is there is easy way we have to only visit in Toyota dealership center because this is specific tool for these Toyotas and they are different type and size of these plastic fasteners and that's when we are going to visit in Toyota dealership center we have to say that hey now I need these plastic fasteners for this engine covers installation what are in this up area in this engine bay area okay and then when I take more of these these fasteners away there is next one is in here and then this all area is full of this but now I take this all away in that way and then my hands and then when I have take this all fasteners away I can start to take this plastic cover away okay and now when I have removed all of these plastic covers I can carefully take this and actually I need that these pl plastic fasteners away in these positions then I can take this plastic cover away and now we have more space to work in there and here is this connector cable and there is idea that I have to press that side in this way look click and then same time pull out first click and pull out and I do that now okay excellent this is Toyota's quality okay and then this air filter box remove and disassemble how it happens and what we need we need first this wrench and 10 millimeter socket 10 millimeter socket what fits in there and then I need also this big tongs and then I start this my job and now I use this electric um, drill driver because this is faster and I start that bolt what is 10 millimeter and I open first this joint in that way and then when this clamp is loosened I can start to use my hand and in that way when I move that carefully I pull out that hose in this way carefully do not use too much force because then 
we can damage this console. And then when I carefully pull out that this normally opens quite easily. In that way. Okay, now it's free and there is this clamp and I can insert this clamp is this small canister. Okay. Good. And then next step is to take this cable out, what is in here, this cable. And actually before of that I can open this air filter consoles, console these metallic clamps. There is first one and then second one. Let's go to look. It is a little bit in here hidden. It is in that part. And I, I open also that. They are similar. They work so that I open that in this direction. Okay, now this console console is now free. Okay, and now when this console is free. I can take my hands in here and lift up that area in here up in this way. And then there are those joints. I move that cover in this direction. And now this console is quite free. Only there is this hose, uh, sorry, this electric cable. But there is normally these two locking positions. What I have to open and now I need my tongs and then this cable what is in this up area I can take that one away in here in this way and then this one normally it is tight in that position I rotate that console in this position and then I take my tongs and I carefully press these clamps in here and then this part opens nicely. But now this cover is in free, good. And then same time I can take away also this air filter. There's air filter in here. And then next part is to open these 10 millimeter bolts. Those three, what are in here, and those bolts I can open using this my drill machine. Okay, now I open this bolts, and opening direction is in that one. This is first one, and first, these bolts are, they look like that, and, I, and then this final one. Okay, and final one is also free. And now, when this, this console is almost, almost ready, I need I need screwdriver for that position, look, in here, in that position, and I have in here the flathead screwdriver, and now when I little bit lift that console up in that way, and, and in, in here we have joint, this part in here I have to carefully move that in this direction in th that direction, in that way, now, now this is free, and then final part is that joint in here, and that part, what is in here, and I use my flathead screwdriver, I insert that in here, and carefully I bend that at the same time, and pull out this, my console, okay, and now this console, console box, it is free. There is this my console box, it is free. And that one was this last part, what I owe. 
Okay, excellent.